This video demonstrates self-healing distributed swarm formation control using image moments. Robot swarms can have hundreds to thousands of robots. A human operator should not have to control each robot individually. Instead, to enable this one-to-many interaction, a desired formation should be representable using a small number of variables independent of the number of robots. We encode a desired swarm formation in 2D using image moments. We find the moments which are weighting coefficients for a set of basis polynomials on the 2D domain. These moments are used to reconstruct a low-dimensional representation of the formation. All robots know the desired moments representing the desired formation. The robots use position measurements and neighbor communications to simultaneously estimate the current swarm formation and move from their initial configuration to the desired formation. We used Legendre moments and pseudo Zernike moments to represent a bunny head shape and two disks of different densities where the leftmost disk is twice as dense as the rightmost. We use first through nth order moments. As the moment order increases, the more image details are represented. The CoachBot V2 swarm setup was used to test the algorithm. There are a total of 100 identical differential drive robots in a 3 meter by 3 meter arena. Due to space constraints, 50 robots were used to test the bunny head and 30 were used to test the two disks. Each robot senses its position using time-varying infrared signals from a ceiling-mounted HTC Vive lighthouse and communicates with neighbors via Wi-Fi. This communication range can be artificially limited. Each robot uses its position measurement SI to calculate its contribution to the estimate of the swarm's moments VI. The estimator takes the individual robot's estimate and the neighbor estimates to estimate the moments that describe the swarm's current formation. The gradient controller uses the difference between the estimated moments and the desired moments to determine the motion of each robot. Experiment 1 used 50 robots in 8th order Legendre moments and 8th order pseudo Zernike moments to represent the bunny head. For both trials, the robots were able to form the desired shape. Here is a video sped up 10 times of the robots forming the bunny head using 8th order Legendre moments. On the left is the image reconstruction from the desired Legendre moments. In the middle is the image reconstruction from one robot's estimated Legendre moments. Here, the robots form the bunny head using 8th order pseudo Zernike moments. Experiment 2 used 30 robots in 6th order Legendre moments and 6th order pseudo Zernike moments to represent the two disks. In both trials, the robots were able to form the desired shape. There should be twice as many robots at the leftmost disk. However, the size of the robots coupled with their collision avoidance prevents 20 robots from fitting inside the boundaries of the denser disk. Here is a video sped up five times of the robots forming the two disks using sixth order Legendre moments. The final swarm formation has 18 robots near the leftmost disk and 12 near the rightmost. Similarly to the bunny head, on the left is the image reconstruction from the desired Legendre moments, and in the middle is the image reconstruction from one robot's estimated Legendre moments. Here, the robots form the two disks using 6th order pseudo Zernike moments. The final swarm formation has 19 robots near the leftmost disk and 11 near the rightmost.